back to school outfits today which i wasn't gonna film because i'm not actually going back to school so basically i'm a total fraud this video feels very like camilla mccauley from the secret history if she was going back to school maybe with a little bit more of a modern twist or maybe mixed with like rory gilmore a little bit slash insert any academically inclined girl that we see on film or in books. I used to film like dark academia videos like this all the time, so this is a major throwback for me, but I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. This first outfit, I'm really just going for this like typical intellectual girl that you read about in a book or on a TV show or a movie, and she always has a plaid skirt on with some Mary Janes, some long socks, and a puffy white blouse. I feel like everyone needs a puffy white blouse in their wardrobe. I don't even know if either of these would be good for school, but with the bag situation, I'm just using what I have. I feel like you can never go wrong with a black messenger bag, like no matter what. Again, it's like one of those pieces that just automatically make me feel very smart and put together. I also feel like this tote bag is really cute though, because it kind of makes it a little bit more casual and modern at the same time. If you're wondering, it's Queen Elizabeth on my tote bag. I got this in a little gift shop in Austria. You never felt this way, but a wicked thing to do to make me dream of you and I wanna fall in Okay, I have outfit repeated this outfit many, <laughs> many times, but I feel like we all have that one outfit that we just like default back to because it just always works. I'll pretty much like always default into a longer skirt option. Don't get me wrong, I love a good like mini skirt. I think they're so cute and fun, but like I will pretty much always gravitate towards a longer skirt, like no matter what the situation is. I will literally go clubbing in a skirt like this, like I, I do not care. And it's just like a very comfortable thing to wear in general. You don't feel like restricted or anything like that so I think they're so perfect if you're going back to school shopping I definitely recommend finding like a good quality longer skirt that you like that goes with everything I paired it with these like knee-high boots because I feel like long skirts always go good with longer boots but if it's still kind of warm outside I would just wear like flats or something this top is like so basic but it's again one of those that I gravitate towards so much just because it's one of those good comfortable basic tops everyone needs a top like this for back to school or fall time. I feel like Rory Gilmore would wear this, but like in her Yale era, like when she has like the shorter hair with bangs. With you. With you. The inspiration for this one is kind of like a little bit of like Serena Vanderwoodson, like a little bit more of like a laid back academic vibe. I kind of just like kept it untucked in the back. I've literally had this top for so long. I think I got it at H&M like five years ago, maybe longer than that actually. Um, this skirt, I love like the little buckle details on it. I think it's so cute. And I paired with it, these like little red ballerina flats, which I also think are so cute and comfortable for back to school time. And they're just so easy to like throw on and pair with anything. I really like the way red looks with navy blue. I also think that's like a very a cute academic uh, color combo. I'm gonna do the classic, like pull a sweater over a, a light collar shirt, which I haven't done this in years, I feel like. I don't know what happened. This is really bringing me back to like 2020 when I literally did this with quite literally every single outfit. <laughs> For my bag, I'm just doing this little casual messenger bag. I feel like this video for me is like such a major throwback to like back in the day when I would do a bunch of like dark academia videos and I kind of love it. It's like really bringing me back to my roots, I feel like. <laughs> Shout out to the people that have been here since then. Love you guys. I feel like this outfit combination always hits. It, it never goes wrong. Never dream that I'd lose somebody. I've been wearing these like graphic tees all summer. They're from Romantic Blue Shop. I'm so obsessed with them. They're so incredibly comfortable and just like easy to style with anything. So I feel like it's the perfect thing to kind of transition into back to school time and autumn as well. This one says love story. You can like barely see it on screen because it's written in darker letters, but they have some really cute ones online. I think long denim skirts are really, really cute for back to school time as well. Again, it's just, one of those things that you can easily throw on with a lot of different things. And if you really like long skirts, 
I definitely recommend looking for a denim one. And then again, I just paired these like longer boots with it. But a wicked thing to do to make me dream of you and I wanna fall in love. This is a really good book, by the way. I just finished it and I'm obsessed. Virginia Woolf is a genius. Miss Dalloway, you guys all need to read it like right now. With you. I don't know who made this like unspoken rule that we stop wearing flowy long skirts once school time comes around or autumn or basically when summer ends it feels like everyone stops wearing flowy long skirts and I'm not about that. It's funny because I feel like people would look at an outfit like this and be like oh she's so dressed up she's trying way too hard for school or something like that but it's like for me if this if I wore this outfit with jeans instead that would be like way more uncomfortable like this is like the comfortable version of that for me and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that. This definitely isn't a good bag for school but again I'm just using what I have. I thrifted this one but it doesn't have a tag. People have been saying it's a Brighton bag though. And my top is also from a small shop on Instagram. It's Sherry Lou and they have the cutest like coquette academia type things. I definitely recommend checking them out really truly amazing quality i also feel like an outfit like this would be cute with like a big like oversized sweater and like some boots or something if it was a little bit colder outside with you. it's been a hot minute since i've busted out the beret and honestly it feels right like it, it feels like i'm me again <laughs> This outfit is kind of giving me like Cher from Clueless and I kind of love it. It's a little bit more of like a preppy academic vibe, but I'm here for it. It has like all of my favorite colors in one outfit, which is like black, brown, red, and navy blue. This is like one of my favorite plaid skirts. It's from Princess Polly. I've been wearing it for years. It's like just like it has like the perfect fit and it's a nice length. It's like actually school appropriate for most schools. I know a lot of schools have like the fingertip rule. I'm wearing these Mary Janes from Nasty Gal which are actually so 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 comfortable. This little cardigan we have here I literally got probably 10-15 years ago. Like I used to wear this when I was a kid like going to church. Not a kid but like middle school 11-12 years old. I'm pretty sure it was originally my sister's and then I stole it at some point. I don't know if the beret is school appropriate for most schools but you can always you know wear it in between classes or after school and things like that. Okay, next outfit. We finally have an outfit that includes a pair of pants. I'm so sorry to all of the pants lovers out there. I'm not really in the pants mode yet. Like, it's just so, so, so hot outside. Like, I can't even fathom the idea of wearing pants all the time, but I wanted to include at least one outfit that has jeans. Call this my Elena Gilbert outfit. It's definitely giving me her energy with the boot cut jeans and the empire waist top and the messenger bag of course this is like one of my go-to fall outfits is like the boot cut jeans with like a pair of heeled boots a cute top and a messenger bag and i feel like it would also be so cute for school i know i said this is an elena outfit but i do have my edward cullen pendant on just to finish off the vampiric girlfriend vibes I need to find me a good vampire boyfriend now. What a wicked game to play To make me feel this way What a wicked thing to do To let me dream Okay, next outfit. I really wanted to experiment with this cargo skirt and pair it with this like graphic top. It's way, way, way too hot outside to be accessorizing this much but i really just miss layering so i'm gonna do a little bit of that right now and some places i feel like it is cold enough to actually wear stuff like this so that's what i'm gonna do i actually thrifted this leather jacket like early summer and obviously i haven't had a chance to wear it so i'm really excited to start styling it in my next couple of videos i thrifted it for five dollars which is insane um, the brand is Liz Claiborne though, if you're wondering. I also thrifted this scarf. The brand is Coach and I also got it for like a few dollars, which is amazing. I feel like it's so, so, so cute. I'm gonna be wearing this so much this fall and winter. And then for my bag, I'm going with my Little Woman tote bag from Favorite Child Collective. I really like to use my headphones as an accessory too, so I like to 
kind of just like pop them onto my bag like that but that's the full fit i honestly think this is like one of my favorite outfits in this video i feel like there's a lot of different things going on but it just works strange world desire will make foolish people do i never dream that i love somebody next we have a very classic dark academia outfit and i really wanted to style this blazer because i haven't worn it in so long just call me richard it's like absolutely way too hot in my room to be wearing this right now but I'm gonna power through. This is the only like larger tote bag that I have. This gives me like very much like corporate vibes. Like not this outfit. I know I, this is not like an, an outfit you wear to the office. This skirt is obviously way too short, but I feel honestly like very put together. Like I'm ready to go to like law school or something. I sound like so out of touch. Getting legally blonde, but make it dark academia question mark. Dark academia Barbie maybe. This Barbie loves the secret history. Okay, last outfit. This is pretty similar to the last outfit. It's just a little bit of a different variation. This is my all-time favorite top. I did thrift it, but if you want to find it, the brand is BCX. I have the same mini skirt and boots that I had on in the last outfit. I'm gonna layer this other red jacket that I happen to have. I love this one too, because it's more of like a blazer fit. I love adding a pop of red to like any outfit. That's my go-to. And then for my bag, I'm wearing this little messenger bag again. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you got some good inspo for back to school time. I know not all these outfits are super realistic, but I feel like uh, my channel just kind of romanticizes everything. I have Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all of that will be linked down below and I'll try to link anything that I can that I've been wearing in this video in the description box as well. But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.